Hey guys, it's Carrot Crops here. Um, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Uh, I have recently been working on a Christmas project um, as presents for friends, and I thought I would show you guys how I did it and give you guys a tutorial because it is very quick and it produces some pretty good results. Um, the things I'll be showing you how to make this and this. Most of you probably know what this is. This is a dragon helmet from Skyrim. It's also seen as the Dragonborn helmet. And um, yeah, uh, I'll be showing you how to make it quickly and cheaply. Stay tuned. The things you'll need are EVA foam floor mats, craft foam, a Stanley knife, a hot glue gun, hot glue sticks, and lots of these. PVA glue, and finally any spray paint that you're going to need. Okay, so talking about using foam for armoring. Um, a lot of people recently uh, came up with using foam for armor, and it got um, pretty popular recently. And I heard a lot of people saying, oh yeah, it's great, it's great, it's cheap, it's, uh, it's fast. Um, and it's better than using peppercorn, hardening it, and sanding it using all the fondo and everything, because it uh, skips out the sanding stage. And at first I was a bit skeptical, um, because I'd seen a lot of photos of people trying to do it, um, not really know what they're doing, and uh, making a big mess of it with all the hot glue and everything. Um, but then I saw some of people get really good results with it. Um, an example of that would be this. A guy managed to do a full N7 suit out of foam, and this picture says it all. It's really impressive. And after this, it really got me thinking, um, and I wanted to try it out. Uh, and I'm actually in the progress of uh, making my own N7 suit using the same files this guy used. But um, I wanted to do the helmets as a little test run for myself, because I've never actually finished a foam piece from start to finish where I actually seal it, paint it. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to show you was uh, this form thread it's on the RPF, and it's called Foam Speed Building Files and Tricks. And it really is great. It's got uh, foam files for loads of different armors, mainly Iron Man, but it's also got um, things like Vanquish, Thor, and it's got a Space Marine files as well. Um, and it's got lots of tips and tricks to help you out, so you can see there's loads of things. And it's got photos that help you. Okay, the other thing I wanted to show you guys was. Um, the files itself. Now the foam files that are made for you are made to be really, really um, easy to do. They're ready to go. Um, they, they only include parts that you need for the template. You can see over here there's some parts that have been removed that aren't needed. Um, and that's because they're eliminated due to the thickness of the foam. Um, but you won't always get files that are ready to go for foam. Um, there are a lot of files out there that are just meant for Epicura and Epicura alone, but you can always actually convert them. Now, there's another video on YouTube that uh, tells you how to convert them, but um, I just wanted to show you this one. Originally, uh, this was a lot more pieces. Uh, as you can see, there's not that many pieces here, actually. The templates, uh, I converted it myself, um, but originally it looked like this. The whole mess of pieces. Uh, I took, I got rid of most of these pieces because a lot of them would be um, eliminated due to the thickness of the foam. For example, the edges here, um, because the foam was about uh, the foam floor tiles are about half an inch thick, so um, all these edges would be gone unnecessary. It makes it really quick as well. Uh, this bit, this rim, um, yeah. So. Uh, there's actually another tutorial online about that. All you have to do really is just eliminate um, these pieces and all that, and um, also try to make as few pieces as possible because seams will always, always look ugly. Um, there's a way to hide them, but most of the time it's best to just try to avoid it and make as few seams as possible. So when you make your templates, you can um, put pieces together such as this one, this one, and this one. Um, these and these pieces together as well, uh, just to make it easier on yourself, um, and also to make your fire, also to make your prop look a lot better. Okay, so to make your actual helmet, you have to take all of the templates you cut out of Epicurve, 
to trace them onto your craft board. Once you trace them out, you can then uh, take them all the pieces and glue them together using pop glue. Now you have to make sure that you size it correctly when, you, when you're printing out the templates of paper photo, this will happen. And then, in the end, when you're finished, you'll have the base helmet, which will look like this, and this. But now, you obviously want something better than that. You're going to want all the details out of it. So, you can go ahead and use your craft bone to make thinner details, like so. Um, and then you can also take your Dremel tool and just hack at it to give it a little bit of bow damage, give it a bit of depth, you know, make it, make it look pretty nice. Once you're happy with your foam helmet, uh, this next step is going to seal it. Because when you go to paint it, uh, the foam is actually porous, and if you try to paint it, you'll be using up way too much paint. It'll get really expensive. Also, um, using that much paint will make it crack if it bends. So, um, what you want to do is you want to seal it to make it so that it's still flexible that you can paint it. So the first step is to take um, a cup and fill it with two thirds water. Then you uh, take the other third and fill it with PVA glue. Now a lot of people have um, a problem with getting visible streaks in their armor from the ceiling and uh, that's why I use two thirds water and one third PVA glue. It takes more coats, but it gives a much smoother finish and it's much nicer. I usually paint the PVA glue on using a paintbrush. And after that, you're done. You just go on to painting, weathering, whatever, and then make the brim. And once you finish painting, uh, you'll get something like this. And obviously, depending on your skill in weathering, it can, the look can vary. I mean, but I only really just started out with this, and my weathering skills aren't the best. Um, so really, you could end up with something even better than this. Uh, I mean, if I can do it, and I just started out really, then anything can do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I uh, hope you learned something, and uh, I hope you find it easy making your own foam props. See you next time.